everybody, my name is Nick and today I'll be giving you a little bit of a different perspective on all the action that went on at Polder Gap last year. Warsaw ended up pushing NATO out of Camp Lee and we had to retreat and regather ourselves at the town of Frankfurt which is just down the hill. The footage here is of NATO troops and I working our way into the tree line to push back up the hill and recapture the camp. I think we got our guys in there. I'm While not conventionally used solely on an attempt to defense, my main gun at the time ended up breaking internally and I had to use a Glock 18 as you can see here. A big problem faced by NATO on our area of attack was the skill of the Warsaw tanks and vehicles compared to our own. Many of the NATO tanks were destroyed right upon deployment while Warsaw managed to hold on to theirs and provide constant suppression. Despite my attempts to disguise myself as a barrel, a Warsaw anti-infantry vehicle pushed in and saw through my camouflage. As an attempt to combat the advancing enemy vehicles, an AT launcher was deployed which required four people to move into the appropriate location. After a long battle, NATO finally began to make a dent into the strongly held Warsaw defense. 
Much of the tree line was now clear and the Warsaw infantry had been eliminated or had retreated to within Camp Lee. We're past the middle path. Using the dense vegetation as cover, NATO moved up to the top ridge of the hill. Despite the low angle providing no clear line of sight into the camp, Warsaw members within high structures such as the camp watchtowers still provided much suppression. Much of the time, the only visible portion of the Warsaw infantry were through small slits in the camp's walls. This made it difficult to eliminate enemy troops from within the structure and make any great opportunity to move forward across the defenseless open grass. Left side! Far left side! Push! Very, very, very far left is heavily fortified. Not the far left. <laughs> oh shit. Our tank? No, oh, shit. Tank! As NATO oh, tried to fight their way in, a Warsaw tank came from over the horizon and began firing on many of the advancing NATO infantry. We are fucking AT! dead. Kayla, we need some yeah. AT! AT on the hill! AT, we need it now! Instead of continuing the long struggle for Camp Lee, the NATO commander issued a nuke which destroyed the stronghold and wiped out all of the Warsaw infantry within. This move blocked off a large portion of the area's NATO territory from Warsaw and served as a great opening offensive to continue to fight and push back any attempted advances of Warsaw forces.